The 49ers are still in the middle of voluntary team workouts with mandatory minicamp now less than two weeks away. But the team captain and defensive lineman Eric Armstead, he's still getting after it off the field and back here in his hometown. Holding the inaugural kickoff for kids gala. It's part of his education equity campaign that he puts on through his Armstead academic project. The goal is to help kids get access to the resources that they need no matter their socioeconomic status. His efforts have helped him earn the 49ers nomination for the NFL Man of the Year award for the past three straight seasons. And his teammates have certainly taken notice with the likes of Trey Lance and Jawan Jennings showing up last night to support him and his foundation. Exciting to get back out here in Sacramento in the community and see uh, you know people who support our organization and everything we're trying to do here face to face and have a great great evening. You know I can't do anything uh, on my own. Um, you know my wife has been an amazing support. Um, our whole organization, my family, my teammates have all supported me. My, you know the 49ers organization has supported me. So um, you know it takes a collective effort to to you know do the type of work that we're trying to do. He handles himself the right way and obviously everything he's done. Um, you know, in the community speaks for itself, and, and he's, he's earned all those awards for a reason, and I'm, I'm just super inspired by him. From day one since he's gotten in, he's really represented the Niners really well, has played tremendously well for him, but then, as we all know, um, our game and what we're about is stretches way beyond the field, and um, he's just been exemplary in, in everything that he's done on and off the field, so just happy to be here to show him some love. During last night's event, Mayor Daryl Steinberg presented Armstead with the key to the city for all of his charitable efforts that he's done for Sacramento. And in the NBA game, one of the finals last night, Denver beat, beats the Heat 104-93 to take a 1-0 series lead. Game two is on Sunday back in Denver. Let's send it back to you. All right, Chris, thank you so much. At least one fan is actually happy about that frightening moment at last weekend's Indy 500.